in this series of four lectures, we're going to create what's called a control, which will display the number of lives left in our whack-a-mole game. Now, up until now, we've been using, uh, or just been putting a number on the screen, but we've decided we want a nice uh, visual image to show the number of lives. We thought maybe showing carrots would work well. Um, here's an example of what we'll have at the end of, uh, at end, the end of this, this work. I'm using a slider bar here to tell the control how many uh, lives our mole has. And we can see as the game progresses, the lives will drop down eventually to zero or high if you're a um, master of the game. So let's get started. I'm going to start Lazarus and it comes up with uh, a new project and a new form. Um, I'm just going to make some notes to myself, listing what it is we're going to be uh, doing over the course of these four tutorials. So I'll go into the uh, unit and I'll type the opening and closing comment code, uh, um, symbols of curly brackets, and think about what we need to do to get this working. Um, first of all, we need to create an empty create an empty stub of an application for testing. Uh, secondly, we'll have to uh, create an empty uh, component to start using. And we're going to call this thing, uh, what's a good name, T, whack a mole life score. Uh, let's see. Thirdly, um, let's use the whack a mole life score inside a form. Um, so we're going to run a little stub of code to start testing the Whack-A-Mole life score. And then we'll have a look at what we do um, uh, beyond that once we've got everything working up to point three. Uh, okay, so I've started Lazarus and it's created an empty project with an empty unit. So we better save this work, give it a good name and um, uh, or save it somewhere useful. Now if I hit the save button, I've got a directory, I have a directory under my documents called Pascal Projects. I'll create a new directory in there and I'll call it Whack-A-Mole Life School. Hit enter. Double click on that. Now Lazarus is asking for a project name. Uh, let's give the project name Whack-A-Mole Score. Whack-A-Mole whack Life Score and we'll give the unit name F main, as we always do for the main unit of an application. Uh, let's hit the run button and just make sure that everything's working as it should do. And there's our empty form. OK, I'll close that off. All right, so that's step one uh, done. We've created an empty application for testing. Uh, now we're going to create an empty whack-a-mole life score component. Now this bit's uh, uh, new, new to us. Um, we're going to, we need to start typing it just underneath the keyword type, but ahead of the uh, declaration of form one. So I'll put some empty lines in there to get started. So I type um, t whack a mole life score equals equals keyword class open brackets now we're going to use uh, T panel as our starting point uh, our whack-a-mole life score is going to inherit all the behavior of our T panel T panel is a good container for this sort of thing to get started hit enter it types the end keyword with a semicolon for me uh, I want to create a private and a public area inside this class just before we get started. Private and public. We'll use those for later. Alright, so there's our empty class. Now let's put this on the form and uh, in a way that we can use it. Um, we need to create a uh, field variable to hold our instance. F. We'll call it just F score and it's a type T back a mile life score. I'm going to copy that block to the clipboard. Um, I'm going to hit uh, hit uh, F12 or toggle uh, toggle to the unit. Actually, I won't use F12 F12 because um, 
uh, your keyboard makes it difficult to get to F12. So I'll use the toggle uh, code and form designer button there. So I'm on the form. If I double click on the form, it's going to create a form create event for me. So I'm going to paste in our F score line, change that to an equals, put a dot here. Uh, so F score equals colon equals T whack a mole life score dot create. So we need to create an instance of it. And I pass in the parameter self, which is a reference to the T form. So we'll talk more about what that means uh, later. I'll just tweak the position of this. So we'll make the top uh, equal to um, position, uh, 10 pixels and and left equals to 10 and and the width equals the width of the form minus uh, 20 pixels. We can talk more about what the client width is. Uh, later. So we'll hit the run button. Uh, all we have in here, um, T panel hasn't been found. Now let's have a look down at the messages. It says here, error, identifier, not found, T panel. Okay, so I need to add uh, extra, E-X-T-C-T-R-T-R-L-S, -L -S, to the users clause. T panel is defined in extra controls. And here we have it. Oh, and I forgot something. One more thing. The form can create. We need to set the F scores parent self. And as I said, down the track we'll talk more about what self means here and here. Hit the run button one more time. Compiles, runs, and you can just see our uh, panel has been drawn at the top of the um, uh, form there. All right, let's review our to-do list. Okay, so we created an empty stub of an application. Good. Uh, we've created an empty Whack-a-Mole Life Score class. Uh, that's here. It has no behaviour yet. It inherits from T-Panel, so all it does is appear on the form as a T-Panel. Done here, and uh, we've used the Whack-a-Mole Life Score inside the form, and we run the form, and as we've seen, it's uh, executed nicely. All right, so you have a shot at that, and then we'll move on to the next um, tune in the session.